Praise the Lord. This is the season of Advent and we are super excited to welcome Jesus Christ once again into our lives. Every Advent season, our main motive is to reflect upon our lives, try to become a better person and also sanctify our hearts. Every Christmas, we hear about the life reflections of Mother Mary and Jesus Christ. But we rarely talk about Saint Joseph. So today, I am going to talk about some reflections of Saint Joseph's life. We don't know a lot about Saint Joseph. We know that his father's name was Jacob and that he was the husband of Mother Mary. He was a carpenter and lived in Nazareth. We also know that before he and Mother Mary lived together, after their engagement, he found out that she was pregnant and instead of shaming her, he decided to divorce her quietly. The Gospel tells us that he did this because he was a righteous man a man of principle. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had directed him. Those are the words that stand out for me on the solemnity of Saint Joseph. God spoke to him in his dreams and he followed his dreams. Just like God had a plan for Joseph, he has a plan for each one of us. The plan need not to be more than that. He just wants us to be upright and righteous. God wants us to follow the commandments. But just like Joseph, we may feel that we have not done anything to contribute so much. But we are nothing but a simple carpenters. We may feel insignificant that we have nothing to offer. Still, God has a plan for us. God gives us dreams and speaks to us in our dreams. But also, just like Joseph, we may never see the fruit of our labor. But the promise was fulfilled. Saint Joseph may have been a simple carpenter who did not amount so much during his life. But today, he is venerated as the most greatest saints in the church. Saint Joseph is the patron saint of husbands, of fathers, of families, of home and of workers. And so, as we journey through this Advent season, let's pray to Saint Joseph. Let him guide us and help us open our hearts to God's plan, that we may be able to pray 